Hello there, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure you get out your notes from last class session when we did parts of speech. We're going to wrap up today. I know you're excited. It's exciting. The last two. So far we've had the noun, the pronoun, the verb, the adjective, the adverb, and what else? Oh, the preposition. That was a toughy one, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Make sure you do familiarize yourself with several prepositions so that you can recognize them, especially if you're asked to find them and to figure out the prepositional phrase. Oh, yes, indeed. But moving on, we've got conjunction and interjection. It's going to work like this. Okay, I'm going to go over the material on the conjunction, then I'm going to erase the material and replace it with information about the interjection. I like the interjection. Like the noun, it is an easy one. Okay, you might even say, like the pronoun also. Yes, the interjection is a great wrap-up part of speech. Are you ready? Let me look. Ooh, it's looking good. It's looking good. I love it. All right. Let's come on over to the board. Follow me. Follow me. Hopefully, I don't disappear here. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It does happen. Okay, so the conjunction. It is truly our connector word. I'm going to be modeling different places. It is truly our connector word. Remember the preposition, in a sense, does connect a prepositional phrase to another piece in the sentence, but it's basically showing relationship. So it's your relationship word, whereas the conjunction is the connector word. Okay, It connects words, phrases, and sentences. Yes, indeed. Three items. Okay, Example. Let's look, let's look at our examples. So far, we're okay, right? Any questions? Anybody? No? Okay. Here's our first example. She saw a dog, two kittens, and a bird. Okay, our words are dog, kittens, bird. And yes, there are commas. And notice, I circled that one comma right there, right before the word and. And yes, and is our connector word. It is one of our boys fan words. In other one, if I can talk a little bit. In other words, one of our CCs, one of our coordinate conjunctions. Please remember that memory word, boys fan. But, or, yet, so, for, and, nor. Please remember that word. Because your CCs are the true connecting words. There are other conjunction types, such as your subordinates and your conjunctive adverbs, and we have talked about them. I will go back over them shortly, okay? But truly remember, CCs do a lot of connecting, okay? So please don't forget that comma right before the conjunction and or the word or, okay? So any questions about this? how these three words, dog, kittens, bird, are connected by and. Okay. Our phrase. Please remember that when we talk about a phrase, we're talking two, three, four words. Not a complete thought. Keep that in mind. So we have, they went to the mall. Oops, that looks like mail. There we go. Sorry about that. They went to the mall and to the park. To the mall, to the park are your phrases. What are they being connected by or with? Yes, indeed, and. Again, one of your CCs. You're going to find that and is a wonderful conjunction to work with. So a lot of my examples, you look and go, oh, and, it's always and. Yes, because it's so easy to work with. That's the point. Again, now to the mall, to the park are connected with and. Okay? Any questions about that? No? Okay. So let's go down to our sentence example. Frida needed a new white blouse. So she went to Nordstrom. Isn't she lucky? Nordstrom? Yeah, that's great. Okay. We have two complete thoughts. Two independent clauses, in other words, I sees. Two sentences that are connected by what? Yes, with the word C. 
so. Again, one of your CCs. Good. Here's your first IC. Frida needed a new white gloves. Up to here. Then, we'll ignore so. She went to Nordstrom. Another IC. Exactly. Please do not forget that your comma comes before the conjunction so. It is not new white blouse so comma. It's comma so. And also be aware that you need to choose the correct CC. Not every CC will work. You can't write Frida needed a new white blouse and she went to Nordstrom. Now what's the connection there? Think of it as, as a result. So you need it as a result word. So the word so would be the best choice. Does that make sense? Now, we do have your subordinates, don't we? Although, though, because, but remember, please do not start your sentences with because here, okay? I just want you to be aware that because is, yes indeed, jingle away, a subordinate conjunction. Until, since, whatever, okay? Words like that, when, words like those are your subordinates. And in a sense, they do connect. Because when you use a subordinate, you're turning something that is a complete thought into a incomplete thought, which then needs to be linked to a complete thought. Does that make sense? A DC needs to be linked to an IC, okay? She said no. That's uh, I see. But now if I say, if she said no. <gasps> DC. Now your conjunctive adverbs. However, furthermore, nevertheless, then, in a sense, do connect what? Two wonderful ICs, don't they? With two punctuation marks. Semicolon, comma. Okay. So yes, different conjunctions. And they do connect. But truly, the CC does a 100% tough job of connecting. Okay, any questions? Please make sure that you have this material. Because guess what? I'm going to be erasing it so I can share interjection with you. No, no questions at all. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's go here. Okay, so we now have, whoopsie. We now have, we'll fix that in a moment. We, have, we now have, it's one of those days, our seven parts of speech. Yes, I'm doing a disappearing act, a little magic show. One minute I'm here, the next minute I vanish. So yes, indeed, seven punctu punctuation, oh my gosh, I'm really into punctuation. Parts of speech, seven. But yes, different types of punctuation. Okay, so let's do this. Let's finish up. And then I'm going to give you an assignment. Let's do this. Let's fix this. Okay, otherwise it looks like an I here. Conjunction. Let's fix that. Okay. Are you ready? You are? Great. So am I. Okay, so your interjection, let's do blue this time. Your interjection shows strong emotion. You may say to yourself, that's great, Ms. Faust, but how is my paper supposed to show emotion? It's strong emotion. Well, guess what? That's why I had punctuation in my mind. Because the interjection relies heavily on a punctuation mark, namely the line, the exclamation point. That's the key. That's the key. Please do not forget it. Do not forget that mark. Otherwise, I will not know that you mean, oh, to show emotion. Because we could, I could say plainly, oh, okay. Or I could say, oh, okay. Words, phrases, comes in these forms, sentences, okay? 
comes in these forms. You might say, oh, it's similar to the conjunction, in a sense. Okay. Examples. Great. Great. Wow. Fantastic. Okay, questions? No? They all show emotion, don't they? Be careful. Some people don't show a lot of emotion. You know, you might say, you might go, ouch, I hurt myself. And somebody else might say, ouch, I hurt myself. Then what punctuation mark would you use? What do you think? What punctuation mark would you use if someone without emotion just goes, ouch, I hurt myself? Yeah, period. Exactly. Exactly. Ouch. I hurt myself. But if that person is really into the emotions, yes, the person will go, ouch, I hurt myself. Exactly. Okay, here we go. What a day. Maybe you've been having lots of bad luck that day. Okay. What a day. Exactly. And... Getting ready for a birthday party. Someone's checking to make sure, you know, that whoever that has that birthday is supposed to be surprised is coming so, you know, everyone get, gets in position and all of a sudden the person goes, here she comes! There you go. Any questions about these two? I have punctuation in my mind. Parts of speech with their various punctuation marks. Exclamation point versus comma. Any questions? No? Okay, well guess what? We're going to take another little break so that I can give you your assignment. And you thought, oh my gosh, Miss Faust is not going to give us an assignment. She wouldn't. Oh, no, 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 I would. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's do this down here. I think I can squeeze the assignment in down here. Whoa. That's not doing too good there. Okay. This board likes to likes to maneuver on its own. It's crazy sometimes. I guess I better hold it. Okay. Let's see, do I have enough room so I can squeeze in everything? Okay, yeah. Sorry folks. A little intermission music. Yes, indeed. You're going, um, no, no, Miss Foss, you're not an opera singer, sorry, but nice try. Okay, here's the assignment. Oh, different marker. Part one, yes, two parts. Part one. Part one is number one. Three sentences. Everyone see that? Okay. Three sentences using three. Make, I'll just use the numerals. Using technically, you should write it out because it's you know ten and below. Using three different some three different conjunctions okay everyone got that number two what do we got there one let's do it that way one sentence sentence remember there's also the use of words and phrases, but I want you to come up with a sentence. One sentence that expresses strong emotion. So you're going, in other words, Miss Faust, you want us to get an interjection. 
You got it. Okay? Three sentences using three different conjunctions. One sentence that expresses strong emotion. Part two. Okay. What is, please answer this, not right now, but when you get ready to do your assignment. What is your, woo, my board's leaving me. What is your least keyword? You were taking a test, here's your keyword. What is your least favorite fruit? And I think I better fix that. Looks like it just got attached. Okay, your least favorite fruit. What fruit, perhaps it's a peach, you're going, oh uh, no, I'll eat it, but I really don't want it. Okay, all right. Any questions, I think? I think that covers it. There we go. Your assignment again. And it is due today. Today, please. Three, write three sentences. It's one of those wonderful days. Using three different conjunctions. You can, if you want, um, just do your CCs or be a little challenging and go into the subordinate or the conjunctive adverb even if you so desire. Okay. Using three different conjunctions and then give me a sentence, just one sentence that expresses strong emotion. Feel free to look at my examples again to give you some ideas. Okay? And then what is your least favorite fruit? Can't wait to see that. Your least favorite fruit. I can tell you mine definitely would be an orange. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. Then guess what? As soon as you're done with this assignment, please send it on off to me immediately, namely today. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Exclamation. Till next time. Bye.